flag flag that flag it's not even that flag it's not even red it's it's maroon it can't ever be a possessive in a good way never that what is it obaka in what kind of information do you want on table at some point that is the very same person otaujandi red <laughs> or they're going to call me at this, this I, it, uh, they still have to respect you they have to not call you out of your name you know hata tsela hata kosini kerara it's not a friendship it's a it's a it's a la bau user bau user you wanna if if your partner is bad mouthing their exes that it's a problem i don't want to hear about work wife what is that yes sir hey everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video it is i it is me it is just katleo thank you so much for being here as always really really excited and looking forward to filming this particular video because the first one popped right off and i was like just so shocked at how many people had a lot to say about them red flags them red flags okay so if you haven't seen the first part of the red flags video what are your red flags when it comes to relationships or friends or that kind of thing just generally what are your red flags definitely watch the video i'll have it somewhere in the cards right up here where where's it going to appear here i think it's going to appear here 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 um i'll have it right up there in the cards so that you can go back and watch that as well it doesn't matter which one you watch first or off it doesn't matter doesn't matter all i would like you to do is subscribe to the channel and like the videos please 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 let's try and get the videos to over 1000 likes it helps so much recommending my channel and it helps us grow so that we can become a bigger JK fam so really excited i also do have a membership space if you are not a member why <laughs> do you know what you are missing out on okay there's videos that are on there that are just like it's a good time it's a good time you know diesel videos this 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 it's a good time so definitely check out my membership space i also do talk a lot about my mental health journey in that space and i have some fun videos there as well where i share personal nuggets and golden nuggets and things that I typically wouldn't share on the main space. So, if you're a member of the JK space, thank you so much for being a member and also encourage the other girlies and the boysies to become a member in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's get into what the red flags are. Don't worry about what I'm drinking. Don't worry about what I'm drinking. Just let it be. Okay, so I'm going to go into Instagram and go to my archives to check what your red flags are because man there was a lot um and I'm really really excited to go through them. I really haven't even had a chance to look at them. I've been so busy. I haven't had a chance to look at them. So, let's have some fun. Possessive people. This lady says possessive people. Uh hey hey, you can't befriend any other person but me. Hey hey. that is a red flag <laughs> i like the hey hey like she literally said hey, hey. um that is a red flag you don't want to be around somebody who doesn't want you having other friends or who doesn't want you uh being around other people Some, sometimes people don't even want you being around your own family members that's when you know that it's tricky who oh, be who oh, be and if you come across somebody like that kata 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 you have to make sure or you are out of there as quick as possible because what possessive people try to do is that they isolate you they make sure that you can think of no one but them you always want to do things it's a, it's a kind of mental brainwash kind of thing possessive people ain't it they are not the hill you should be wanting to die on okay so if somebody is possessive it's a red flag it can't ever be a possessive in a good way never that uh, this no. is one of my friends who says competition a friend who always wants to compete with you a friend who's never happy for you L let me tell you mm. a friend that calls you these are all hers that i'm reading uh, a friend that calls you only to vent but posts her real friends that are doing better than you <laughs> that's disgusting 
okay that's bad a friend who always wants to be in competition with you is not a friend it's 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 really that simple there is a healthy way in which you and your friends can motivate each other by doing what you're doing and wanting better for yourselves and for them yes but a friend who's constantly in competition with you and then they only reach out to you when they've got problems when they're going through some things and this that and the other and they forget to reach out to you when they are hosting a nice dinner or a lunch or having a good time with other people and all of that that ain't a friend that is someone who wants to compete with you that is someone who wants who uses you for man, they, uh, they use you for as far as they can throw you essentially in a nutshell they use you as far as they can throw you as much as they need from you and that's it then they call it a day those are not good friends those are not good people those are not good people and if 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 you realize the earlier you realize that the better no it goes back to also the thing that you know it's 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 uh, it's it's quite possessive in some way as well so oh uh, no catch me outside no this lady says a friend who will try to befriend all my other friends behind my back that is a problem <laughs> yay that it's that one does not take rocket science firstly when us in taulil okay legato firstly why are you choosing to befriend Table her friends behind her back. Why are you trying to do that? <laughs> what is it? What kind of information do you want on table? Right? What kind of information do you want on table when I'll rat? What kind of information do you want on table that you think you can suss out from her friends? Why are you trying to befriend Tebo's friends? Why? 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 Even worse when it's behind her back. Hey man. It's bad enough that you have to befriend, befriend her friends in front of her face, okay? And try play nice and all of this and blah, blah. But behind her back? Nah, bro. Nah, bro. And it would say a lot about Teboho's friends if they don't tell Teboho, hey, Lirato, your mate has been trying to, you know, just meet up for lunches and drinks and all of that. And they're trying to do this. And do you know anything about that? And if Teboho says, no, I don't, then... So if your friends can tell you that, no, your other mate is trying to befriend us, eh? And, and I don't understand why, because we, we know her through you. So why, why? Uh, and if your friends can tell you that, then those are good friends. But not somebody who claims to be your friend and then wants to know all your business behind your back. Nah, bro. That, that, that very same person will want, actually, that person wants your life. Because at some point, that is the very same person, Otaujandi Red. If you don't know, you don't know. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, forget about it. That is the same person. If somebody can go behind your back and try to befriend your friends, how safe do you think it would be for you to have that person around your partner? <laughs> <laughs> shame. A guy who always wants you to talk about your exes so he can compare himself to them. That is a major red flag. Why? Why? Why am I discussing my exes with you? Why am I discussing my exes with you? It's one thing to have a once-off conversation where you talk about, you know, your previous relationship. Why did it end and whatever. It's great to knowing exactly what kind of relationships your person has been in before and here, here, what, what, to suss things out, right? But when they're always wanting you to talk, firstly, it says a lot about that guy because it says that they don't trust themselves. Then you can... Mm. It makes sense! Then, then, at some point, you need to trust yourself. Your exes shouldn't be a bother. I don't care, damn! I don't care a damn about Diesel's exes. I couldn't care a damn. I don't talk to him about them. I couldn't care a damn. Because you need to trust yourself. You need to believe yourself. That, you know, believe in yourself that, yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. With me. Ah, uh, he's reached. You know, he's at the top of the mountain. He's at the top of the mountain. With, with me. 
Why must I bother myself about his exes and what he did with his exes and all of that? Ah, that's none of my business. I couldn't care less. I couldn't. I really couldn't care less. So no, that is a red flag. No, no. It, it shows a lot about his self-esteem as well and his confidence levels. If he's always wanting to know about your exes and compare himself to them. That's terrible. When your own man calls you a B-I-T-C-H and saying... Things like F you and speaking down on you. Obsession, control, insecurity. Let me tell you something. This is one thing that I don't get about relationships about the, with the younger generation. Younger than me, right? The 20s, the early 20s and whatever. And you see people fighting with their partners online, on TikTok or whatever. The F-bombs that are dropped there. The, the, the calling... Uh, 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 your partner out of their name. The, I just, it could never be me. Do you understand? If my partner is going to call me a sperb, or they're going to call me a B-I-T-C-H, or they're going to call me a, a see you next Tuesday, or they're going to call me a this, this, I, it, <laughs> why? If there's one thing you have to want to do, is to respect your partner or else catch me several streets outside. What do you even mean, bro? <laughs> right? <laughs> like, I, I look at these young relationships, I'm like, why No, that could never be me. You cannot be with someone who cannot respect you. Even in moments of anger and, and upsetness and all of that, they still have to respect you. They have to not call you out of your name. You know? However, you're yeah, calling people out of their names. No, no. Even with my friends, you can catch me several streets outside. Us, me and my friends do not call each other out of uh, out of out of uh, 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 our names, right? We don't get hata tsela, hata kosini. Yarra, here. When a friend becomes jealous, when you have other friends outside of your friend group, you know. This is a more common thing than we all think. It's so common where you have friends that expect you to be just friends with them. And they don't take any, they don't respect the relationship that you have with your other friends. They don't care. They want you to constantly be showing up for them and not for your other friends. If something happens on the same day where you have a, a, an event with this friend and the same day an event with these friends. And then it's like shucks. But these ones then said, they told me about this before this one. And you decide to go to that one and this one gets angry. Get out of here. Get out of here, get out of here. No, guys, honestly. You can't split yourself in two trying to make everybody happy. Why can't we all just get along for crying out loud? At the end of the day, they're my friends, they're my friends, and you're my friend. And that's okay. That's okay. You don't need to bring them near each other. You don't have to have them in each other's space all the time. There can be moments here and there when you're celebrating a birthday or whatever, that's fine. But if this person has a problem even when you're with your other friends and they make snide remarks like, I don't even want to hear about that girl or I don't da, 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 or this, 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 I, you and your friends or make mean comments about you and your friends. Gerara. Gerara there. Gerara there. No, I'm saying, Mina, I'm an overthinker. I overthink, I overanalyze, decide, and run. I ghost, basically. Ghosters are problematic people. Uh -uh. No, 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 no. People have tried to justify why they ghost sometimes. And here's the thing. I can say that you can only ghost when it's, it's, it's physically abusive or when it's, it's harmful for you in some way, whether emotionally, whether this ghost. But then if you are just ghosting because you're bored. Keep saying that. That's great. Keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Keep saying it out loud. Meanwhile, you've been spending two months with this person and now you just feel like, nah, they're not it for me. That's inappropriate. That's wrong. Okay. Just tell the ghosty, man. Just tell the ghosty. I get when I'll ghost away. Just tell them that, you know what? I think I need a little bit of a break. Lie, if you have to. 
then just say things like, look, I'm, I'm busy. I've got this really hectic project at work. I need to focus a little bit. So I'm going to need us to take a little bit of break. Whatever. But it's so unfair to ghost someone who's got no freaking idea. No idea why. What they did wrong. What you did wrong. What happened? Where did things fall off the rails? They've got no idea. Uh, nah, bro. Uh, people who take advantage of my kindness, the friendship not being reciprocal, and I'm the one who's always checking up on you and they don't do the same. It hurts like hell. <laughs> like hell. She just said it hurts. It hurts like hell. A relationship that is not reciprocal, a friendship rather, that is not reciprocal, it's just, even for your mental health, it's just draining, man. Is it even worth it when that person doesn't even check on you nothing, but then you check on them, you invite them out, you invite them to your home. They don't invite you to their homes. They don't do any of that kind of stuff. That is hurtful in and of itself. It's just really hurtful, but it's not a conducive relationship. It's more than anything, a parasitic one. So it's not socially conducive for the both of you to be friends because one person is benefiting while the other one gets depleted or, or that kind of thing. So it's not conducive. So it's not a friendship. Yes, mother. Yes, mother. It's not a friendship. It's a, it's a, it's a, like, user. Bow user. Um, friends who constantly ask you to borrow their money while they have boyfriends when you don't. Uh, I don't know about this one because I don't, I don't, why should the reliance be on ask your man and not your friend? Because you're justifying it in the sense that, well, she's got a man, so why not she ask the man instead of asking me when I don't even have a man? I don't, I don't see the justification there. I feel like borrowing money from friends just shouldn't even be happening. But if you trust your friends and you've got a solid, strong, mature relationship with your friends, then it's fine. You can ask, but not constantly, not every five minutes you're constantly asking your friends for money. No, but uh, putting it this way in the sense that they have a man. So in actual fact, they should be asking the man. Some people don't feel comfortable asking their partners for money and um, it, you know, they don't want to give off a certain impression. So they feel more comfortable asking their friends for money. Money, and that's fine uh, but using it in this analogy I, I I'm not down with that mm -mm. bad mouthing his ex-girlfriend wife baby mama in any way absolutely yeah wanna if if your partner is bad mouthing their exes aye, 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 aye. nope if your friend is bad mouthing her other friends no that is a big, big red flag because you know what they're going to do. You know what they're going to do, my darling. They're going to badmouth you. While you're still friends with them, while you're in a relationship with them, whatever, they are going to run their mouths. And they're going to run their mouths to the mill. And people will know you. They'll be like, oh, that's Diesel's girlfriend. Hey, but she, apparently you're, according to him, he's a bit of a bitch. She's a bit of a B-I-T-C-H, eh? Like, honestly, honestly, if somebody can badmouth their exes or their friends or ex-friends or whatever to you, nah, bro. See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. Nah, bro, nah. It's one thing to talk about certain people, but to badmouth them, no. It's a red flag. No, no. What one of the female bestie or work hubby wives what never ends well? Give you opportunity, bow. Let me tell you something. Nah, I will never. That is a problem. I don't want to hear about work wife. Today I'm going to make cock. In other words, I'm going to make shut. And, 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 and my, my bestie from work who happens to be a female. I'm sorry, what? Why? Where? For what? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Why is this person? Why are we even referring to them that way? Why? So this is somebody you work with closely who happens to be a member of the opposite sex. Wonderful, that's fine. If you work with them closely, you do projects with them, you do this, it's fine. But why are we referring to people we work with as my work wife? What is, oh, what is that? 
Yes, sir. Absolutely correct. I hate when y'all tell me to be, be the bigger person. No, I'm going to be small as hell. I'm going to be an ant. When they go low, I go to hell. What is that? Why? Why? Why are we referring to them as work husband? Why? Why, sis? Oh, sis, no, no, no. Uh -uh. When you have a wife, the term wife is reserved for your wife. What about work wife? Kidding you. Next thing you end up saying things like that, you know, no, me and the work wife, we need to work. You're saying this to your wife. No, me and the work wife, we need to work late today. I'm t where? Where? Sposeso. Hi, boy. Nah. Chu. This got no chance. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Never that. Please, never that. When a friend knows and witnesses people talking about me and then she or he doesn't tell, tell me and still hangs out with them, red flag. Get rid of that friend. That person is talking mad crap behind your back. If someone is willing to listen to someone bad mouth me, if, if Prudence or Bali, my friends, I won't care, whatever, if they are willing to listen to someone badmouth me and sit there and take it, they're not my friends. And say, mm, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, hey. No, they're not my friends. The moment that happens, your friend should be saying, I'm not going to have this conversation with you about Katleo. You want to talk to Katleo? Talk to Katleo. You want to talk to them? Talk to them. What you're not going to do is badmouth so and so uh, to me. That's not going to happen. That's my friend. Don't do that. More than anything, they should stand up for you and defend you, right? Mm -mm. A selfish friend who always talks about themselves. Oh my gosh, don't we know these? I always talking about themselves, always going through the absolute most. They want to talk about themselves, what they are going through, how their relationship is not working, how they pissed her off at work, and this and this. That time that friend knows nothing about how your day is going. Nothing. 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 Take something about you and then make it about themselves. You can share one thing. Like, hey, man, I'm going through this. Oh, you know, actually, I went through the same thing. And, you know, uh, I basically reacted by doing this, that, and the other. I'm sorry, really? 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 We're doing that now. Really? Add lame to the list. Add whack to the list. A friend who always talks about men. I said this in my last Red Flags. If you're going to prioritize a man and your relationship and your dating life and whatever, you and I are not going to be friends. I can tell you that for free. Man, I'm trying to have us prioritize money and business and becoming better versions of ourselves and helping each other, motivating each other, inspiring each other. Hey. We're talking, we're talking, we're talking, we're talking, we're No, man. Please, man. <laughs> that talks about his achievements yeah if it gets over a certain point yeah 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 definitely i would agree in the sense that they're constantly talking about themselves and what they've done and this and that and the other and blah 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 forgetting that brah come on you're coming off as a bit of a narcissist stop you know you're doing too much you're doing too much i get it you're a smart gent you've got achievements wonderful for you good for you Men who breathe, why are you breathing? Who are you breathing for? Your Kyazala, I mean. <laughs> to a certain degree, I get it. <laughs> nah, nah, come on, come on. We're playing, we're playing, we're playing, okay, we're playing. Have you liked the video? Patung, Dipu, like the video. Patung, Chantel, like the video. Do you mind? Do you mind? Suppose this. Can you like the video? Thanks. Thank you. A friend who copies everything I do. You are. Uh, uh, that friend wants to be you. And people hate it when you say things like that. That friend wants to be you. And now the problem is when they don't realize no one will ever do it like you can. Especially if you are good at something. And they feel like, nah, Katlo does this, whatever. Lynn, I can do it, whatever. They're not going to do it like you can. They're just not. 
but they're constantly copying what you wear. They're copying what you, what, how you do your hair. They're copying this. Stuff. Hey, man. Flag. Flag. That flag, it's not even, that flag, it's not even red. It's, it's maroon. But when they imitate everything you do, those people could kill you. Man, I am saying it. They could roofie your drink. They could put you in situations where it's dangerous for you. Because they want, eventually it's going to get to a point where they're going to want you out of the picture. They're going to want your life. They're going to want your friends. They're going to want your man. They're going to want your family. They're going to want that this. They're going to outcast you by bad mouthing you. All the while copying everything you do. Your style, the way you dress, the kind of food you eat, blah, blah, blah. Now they, 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 they now drink, you know, a certain type of, type of drink. Meanwhile, they never used to drink that. Like, it's just like, mm, you're doing too much. And I just thought of one now. The friend who thinks that everything is about them. Whether you say something, you mention a comment about your friend. Like, for instance, if my friends are sitting here and they're watching this video. And they, I say this and this, and they think, ah, she's probably talking about me. Come on. Really? 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 Come on, no. No. It, not everything is about you. Not everything is about you. I'm going through what I'm going through. Just give me a moment. Not everything should be about you. And let me tell you, friends who disrespect their other friends in front of other people, in front of other friends, man. Man, you could catch me outside. Well, I understand a lot. Because if at all, prudence is going to disrespect me and call me out of my name and do this and, and literally badmouth me while we are all in front of uh, um, Bali, Dineo, whatever, and literally call me out my name, that's not a friend. That's not a friend. Your friend should be able to take you aside and say, listen, bruh, I really don't appreciate that you did this in front of this person. I really don't appreciate that you did this. If you're going to call me out of my name as a friend in front of my other friends, literally try and degrade me in front of my other friends, deplete me, diminish me, finish me in front of my other friends, we're done. We're not friends. We're not friends. One thing you're not going to do is be disrespectful. We're not friends. Okay. I don't get along with girls. They just don't like me. I prefer gents. They are less dramatic. Red flag. I completely agree. Completely agree. What is this business about? You don't get along with girls because they don't like you. Why? Why are they not liking you? What it is about you that they do not like. Why? 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 Eh? No, Lagato, don't run. Murise, stop running. Whoa, why? Why? Why do you think that uh, uh, other girls don't like you? But I don't get along with girls because they don't like me. Why? If that is the case, why? Because there is nothing as powerful as feminine friendships. Friendships between women who respect each other, they mature, whatever that, that shit is beautiful, it's amazing. Why, when can't you be a friend? Even just have one female friend. But it's easy for you to be friends with gents. <laughs> Tell the truth, Ditebu. Tell the truth. Please, man. Please. A lack of reciprocity and believing that they're always right. There we go. If you cannot, I just said it. If you cannot see the fault in your behavior, if you're constantly right, and, 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 no. Red flag. I think, I think that's about it. I don't know if ever I wrote any red flags. I doubt I did. I doubt I did. Yeah, I doubt I did. So I think that's pretty much it. So this is where I'm going to end the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, thank you so much. Do like the video. Do subscribe to the channel. If you do feel like being a member, there is extra bonus content in the membership space. And that link will be down below. Just click the link. It's in the description box. And it'll give you the prompts of what you need to do to become a member. And if you are becoming a member, say from today, from the moment you're seeing this video, you will have access to all the 
the videos before. It doesn't mean that you don't get to see all the videos before then. You will get to see them. There's over 30 videos in there so you can have a good time. Uh, outside of that, thank you so much for choosing me over and over and over. Again, I'm going to go. I appreciate you being here. Please do like the video. Let's get it to a thousand likes. Subscribe to the channel. Join the JK fam. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, sayonara.